respected Guruji, pundits and pundita, other specially invited guests, and to the order, audience, a supreme namaste. My name is Ravina Gulja, and I have the privilege of being your chairperson this afternoon. Next, we have the lighting of the deer, which I welcome Pandit Gautam Bechu from the APS to perform. Om Agnimide Purohitam Yajnasya Deva Mritvijam Hotaram Ratnadhatamam Om Agnir Jyotir Jyotir Agnihi Om Agnir Varcha Jyotir Varcha Om Sajur Devi Nasavitra Sajur Atrindra Vatya Jushano Agnir Vetu Thank you, Pandit. Now we'll have the garlanding of Guruji and Pandit Amit. For this, we have little Arti Arjun to garland Pandit Amit and Divesh Ramdin to garland Guruji. Om Swastina Indra Vritha Shrava Swastina Usha Vishwa Veda Swastina Star Kshu Arista Nemi Swastino Brihas Patir Dadatu Om Shanti 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 Thank you Arti and Divesh. Now we'll have a bhajan, Swagata Sabajan, conducted by Pandit Hansraj and Pandit Radhi. Bhajan Swagata Sabajan is a Mandiraho. Let us all be welcome to this temple of worship to share in the sweetness of devotion. I will ask or invite each and every one of you to join with me as we sing this beautiful bhajan, Swagata Sabajan. Swagat Sabajan is mandero Hakti Swatitina Hakti Swatitina Yeah. 
is one of the most sacred, noble, and fruitful deeds that any Arya Samaj could perform, as it is based on the fundamentals of the Vedas, our teaching, teachings. Yajna or Hawan, which usually involves offerings to the holy fire, is the heart of Vedic Dharma. Please direct your attention to the stage where we will now begin the Hawan guided by Pandit Radhe and Pandit Tantraj. Thank you. Before I begin with the edge, also, I would like to take this opportunity to say welcome to each and every one of you, but more so to welcome as we all join and participate in the Hawali Edge. So we begin now with the opening mantra or opening prayer. And once more, I invite each and every one of you to join as we chant this most beautiful and powerful mantra. So what we do, we sit upright with our spine erect. In a prayerful mode, we try to empty our minds of all the worldly things and try to focus within. We chant the highest name of God. Pratyaksham Brahmasi Twameva Pratyaksham Brahma Varishami Ritam Varishami Satyam Varishami Tanma Mavatu Tadvetaram Mavatu Avatu Ma Mavatu Vataram May you, O Supreme Being, Friend of all, the holiest of all, and the controller of the universe. Be merciful unto us. May you, Almighty One, Lord of the universe and support of all, endow us with knowledge and power. May you, O Omnipresent and Omnipotent Being, shower your blessings all around us. We begin with the Archman. It's the Archman is the sipping of the sacramental water. We take water into our right palm as we get ready to chant and to sip. The sacramental water. Om Amrito Pastra Namasi Swaha. May this water bring happiness to all. Om Amrita Pidhanam Si Swaha O Immortal One, 
you are the eternal support of all om satyam yashah shreemai sehasrayatam swaha may true action fame wealth and honor be all with you atha ang sparsh the touching of the bodily limbs with the sacramental water pray and ask to god that may they remain strong as to fulfill all the functions and i would like to invite everyone as we perform this act of unsparsh so everyone is visualize that you have the water into the left palm and you're using the two fingers of the right hand as you touch from the right and then to the left om vangame asyastu om nasorme pranavastu om akshanorme chacharastu om karnyorme srotamastu om ahorme balamastu om urvorme ojvastu om arisnani me angani tanistanwami sahasantu अथ ईश्वर स्तुति प्रार्थना ओम सदाधार पृथ्वी तस्म देवाय प्राणतोषितो महे जगतो बहो यही शेपद चतुष्पद कस्म देवाय हविषा ओम ये नद्यारुका पृथ्वी चाकृद यो अंतरिक्षे रजसो विमान कस्म देवाय अविषा ओम प्रजापते नरे दान्यो विश्वाजाता यमस्ते जुहुमस्तनुस्तु वयम श्याम पतयोरेना ओम सनो बंधुर्जनिता सा विदाता दामिवेद तृतीय दामन धैरयंत ओम अग्नि नया सुपथाराय अस्मा विश्वानी देव वयुना निवेदवा योध्यस्मुराणी नमोक्ति विधि इति ईश्वर स्तुति प्रार्थोपासन मंत्र अथ स्वस्ति वाचनम ओ 
अग्निमे पुरोहित यजस्वामृतज ओदारण रनधातम ओं सन पिदेव सुनवे अग्निशुभाय नो भव ओम स्वस्ति नो विमितामश्विना भव स्वस्ति दिव्यतीर्नर्वन स्वस्ति पूषा असुरो दधातुन स्वस्ति ध्यावा पृथ्वी सुचेतुन ओम स्वस्त वायुप्रवाम सोम स्वस्ति भुवन से यस्पति बृहस्पति सर्वगण स्वस्त स्वस्तयासो अध्यास्वस्त वैश्वान वसुरग्नि स्वस्त देवावंत प्रभव स्वस्त स्वस्ति नो रुद्र पाकस स्वस्ति मित्र वरुणा स्वस्ति पत्ये रेवती स्वस्ति नाइंद्रश्चाग्निश्च स्वस्ति नो अदिति कृधि ओं स्वस्ति पंथा मनुचरेम सूर्या चंद्रम साव पुनर्गतानता जानता संगमे It is swasti vachanam adha shanti karanam. In these mantras, we pray for peace and harmony. Om Shana Indra Agni Bhavata Mavobi Shana Indra Varuna Rathavya Shaminda Soma Subita Shanyo. अथ शिव संकल्प As we know, the Shiva Sankal deals with the mind. And may man ha, Shiva Sankal pa must do. May good thoughts always flow into our mind. Om, Om, Yajagrato Duramudayti Daivam. सप्तैति दूरंगम ज्योतिषा ज्योतिरक तन्मे मन शिवसंकमस्तु ओ सुशारतिरश्वान्वयन मनुष्या भीषुर्वाजन हृत्प्रतिष्ठिर जिष्ठे मन शिवसंकमस्तु तन्मे मन शिवसंकमस्तु ओ सन पवस्व शंगवे शं जनायाशमर्वते शं राजनोषधीभ्य अनो विपिफा भयदान फॉर फेलसनेस ओ अभ्यम मित्रभ्यम अमित्र अभ्यम जाताभ्यम पुरोक्षा अभ्यम नक्तम अभ्यम देवना सर्व आशा मम मित्रम भवंतु इति संक्षेपत 
शांति करनम एंड नाउ वी प्रे फॉर द अग्निहोत्रम वी प्रिपेयर नाउ फॉर द कैंडलिंग ऑफ द सैक्रिफिशियल फायर सो एज वी स्टैंड लेट अस ऑल स्टैंड ओम भूत भुवस्व भूमना पृथ्वी वरमना तस्ते पृथ्वी देव यश्वी पृष्ठ अग्नि मनाद मनाद्यायादेफायर एवरी वन ओ उत्पुर स्वाग्नि प्रसिजागृहीमिष्टा पुर्ति सागम श्रीदितामयन अस्मिन् सरस्ते अथुदरस्मिन् आत्मजातवेदस्तेनेवर्धस्वशेदवर्धय चास्मान प्रजया पशुर्ब्रह्मवर्चसे नाधेन समेधय स्वाहा जात वेद से ईद नाम मम ओं संविधाग्न दिवसृतर्बोदयता अस्जोतन ओं सुसंविधा शोचसे घृत तीव्रम जहोतन अग्न जात वेद से स्वाहादम अग्न जात वेद से ईद नाम मम ओं तन्वा समिधिंगिरोन वर्डयामसी बृहशोषा विषय स्वाहादम अग्न अंगर से ईद नाम मम पंचकृत होची स्वाहा स्वाहादेदस्तेनेवर्धस्वचेदवर्धय चास्मान प्रजया पशुभिर ब्रह्मा वर्चसे नाना देन समेधय स्वाहा इदम अग्ने जात वेद से इन नाम मम ओम अयंधय म आत्मा जात वेद स्तेने द्यस्वर्ध स्वचेर वर्धय चास्मान प्रजया पशुभिर ब्रह्मा वर्चसे नाना देन समेधय स्वाहा जात वेद से ईद नाम मम ओं अयंधर्म आत्म जात वेद स्तेने स्वचेर वर्धय चास्मा प्रजया पशुपिर्ब्रह्मवर्चसे नाना धेन समेधय स्वाहा अग्न जात वेद से ईद नाम मम jal sanjana sprinkling of the sacrificial sacramental water on all sides of the heaven cone om aditi namanyasva om anumati namanyasva om saraswati namanyasva om deva savita prasujajyam prasujajpatim magaya divyo gandharva ketapo ketana punatu वाचस्पतिर्वाचन स्वदू आघार भाग भाग होति घी अभिषण सलो ओम 
अग्नये स्वाहा इदम अग्नये इदनामम ओम सोमाय स्वाहा इदम सोमाय इदनामम ओम प्रजापते स्वाहा इदम प्रजापते इदनामम ओम इंद्राय स्वाहा इदम इंद्राय इदनामम प्रधान होम प्रिंसिपल इवनिंग ऑब्लेशंस ही अन सामार्गी ऑब्लेशंस ओम अग्निर ज्योतिर ज्योतिर अग्नि ही स्वाहा ओम अग्निर वर्षो ज्योति वर्षा है स्वाहा ओम स्वाहा ओम सजूर देवना स्तब्धता सजूरुष सेंधवत्य अजूशान अग्निर वेतु स्वाहा ओम भुरग्ने ये प्राणा ये स्वाहा ये नमक्ने ये प्राणा ये ईदनामम ओम भुवरवाई में ये पाना ये स्वाहा ये नमवाई में ये पाना ये ईदनामम ओम स्वाद्या ये भयाना ये स्वाहा ये नमाद्या ये भयाना ये ईदनामम ओम भोलबा स्वर्णिवावाय देव्य प्राणा पाने देव्य स्वाहा इदमग्निवावाय देव्य पाना पाने देव्य देव्य इदनामम ओम आपो ज्योतिरसोमर्तम ब्रह्मा भूर्वा स्वरम स्वाहा ओम यां मेधाम देवगना पितरस्चुपास्ते दयामा मध्यमे दयाग्नि में धाविनम कुरु स्वाहा ओम विश्वानि देव सवितर दुरितानि परास्व यद्भद्रम तन्नास्व स्वाहा ओम अग्नि नया सुपथाराय अस्मान विश्वानि देव भयुनानि विद्वान ययोध्यस्मचुराण मेनो भूषांते नमः उक्तिं विदेमो स्वाहा पूर्ण होती रूप आघार वाप भाग होती ओम अग्नये स्वाहा इदम् अग्नये इदन्नामम् ओम सोमाय स्वाहा इदम् सोमाय इदन्नामम् ओम प्रजापते स्वाहा इदम् प्रजापते इदन्नामम् ओम इंद्राय स्वाहा इदम् इंद्राय इदन्नामम् व्याहृति अरुचि की अभिजन सलून ओम भूरक्ने स्वाहा इदम् अग्ने इदन्नामम् ओम भूवायवे स्वाहा इदम् वायवे इदन्नामम् ओम स्वाद्याय स्वाहा इदम् आद्याय इदन्नामम् ओम भोगा स्वर्गने वावाइतिभ्य स्वाहा इदम् अग्नि वावाइतिभ्य इदन्नामम् अतः ब्रह्मगायत्री सावित्री गुरुमंत्र I invite everyone to join in गायत्री सावित्री गुरुमंत्र ओम भूर भवास्वा तत्सवितुर वरेन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियोयो न प्रचोदयात् स्वाहा ओम भूर भवास्वा तत्सवितुर वरेन्यम् भर्गो देवस्य धीमहि धियो यो न प्रचोदयात् स्वाहा ओम भूर भवस्वा तत्सवितुर वरेन्यम् 
भर्गो देवस्यतीम ही दियो यो नह प्रचोदयात स्वाहा अथा सुष्टकुरित होती ओम यदस्या कर्मनोत यरीरिचम यद्वान्यून मिहाकनम अग्निस्त स्विष्टकृत विद्यार सर्वम स्विष्टम सहोतम करोतमे अग्नये स्विष्टकृते सहोत होते सर्वा प्रायस्चित्ता होती नाम कामानम समर्थकरे सर्वान कामान समर्थय स्वाहा इरमग्नये स्विष्टकृते इदन्ना ममा प्रजापत्य होती कि ऑपरेशन सलोन ओम स्वाहा इदम् प्रजापते इदन्ना मम पूर्ण होती फाइनल थ्री अवेलेशंस ओम सर्वमय पूर्णम् स्वाहा ओम सर्वमय पूर्णम् स्वाहा ओम सर्वमय पूर्णम् at her Mukh's Parish. Let us all stand as we take all the positive vibrations emanating from this edge, having made so many oblations into the sacrificial fire. Let us all now face our palm towards the sacrificial fire and we pass our hand lightly over our faces. Om Tanupagni Sitanvam Mepahi Om Ayurnagnesi Ayurmilehi Om Varushuragnesi Varushumelehi Om Agnayanvetanva Unam Tanma Apna Om Miram Medeva Savita Adhatu Om Miram Medevi Saraswati Adhatu Om Miram Ashvinau Devava Dhattam Puskarasrajau and we put our hands on our lips. Om Vakshama Apyayatam Nostrils. Om Pranaschama Apyayatam Eyes. Om Chakshushama Apyayatam Ears. Om Srotram Chama Apyayatam And his shoulders. Om Yashobaram Chama Apyayatam Let us bring our hands in Pranavasan. Om Dhyav Shanti Ranta Vikshavam Shanti Prithavi Shanti Rapa Shanti Oshadaya Shanti Vanaspataya Shanti Vishvideva Shanti Brahma Shanti Sarvagvam Shanti Shanti Reva Shanti Sama Shanti Redhi Om Shanti 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 And now we sing the bhajan Poojaniya Prabhu Lord, to make our intentions clear so that we'll be free from deception and to give us mental strength. पूजनीय प्रभो हमारे भाव उज्जवल कीजिए छोर देवे चल कपट को मानसिक बल दीजिए वेद की गावे रचाए राज्य को दारन करे हर्ष में हो मन सारे शोक सागर से तरे आश्व में तादिक रचाए यज्ञ पर 
critical thinker, he is astute, he is practical, he is a writer, a lecturer, a doctor of philosophy even. He is a translator, did you know he was multilingual? He is a pundit, he is a role model, he is our Guruji. He is a man of good character and of great vision, a man with a powerful voice and a pure heart. But of all these wonderful characteristics and roles that Guruji comprises, I believe this gift that he could give to us is being our Acharya, our teacher. Dr. Satyaj has been coming to Trinidad for the past 10 years or so. With, and with each new year, we gain a little more knowledge than the previous. Tonight, Guruji is going to continue his lecture. Yesterday, who remembers the, the topic? Anyone? Show of hands. You all came yesterday? I'm hearing something. One more time. How to overcome boredom or not being boring. <laughs> Thank you, Auntie. Welcome, Pandit Indrani. Namaste. Namaste. Uh, if I may just interrupt, if I may just in, Namaste. If I may just interrupt, yes, I, re I recognize you all from St. Clement's. Very nice. Uh, Acharya Amit This is Acharya Amit. And of course, I have my other three children here Acharya Deepak, Acharya Kshit, uh, Chandrasekhar, and Acharya uh, uh, Mahendra. But I'll I'll focus on them at the end, the three of them at the end. This is a young man who has just come from India with the two of them, and I'll tell you about them later. He used to teach Sanskrit in a Gurukul called Gurukul, Gurukul, his Brahma Mahavidyalay Hisar. Hisar is the district in the state of, of uh, Haryana. And at a very young age, his parents sent him to Gurukul and he mastered Sanskrit grammar and etymology, the same thing that I studied too. But I went when I was 24, he came, he's now 25, and he has been teaching. 
he sings very well. The people of Suriname just grabbed him when Deepak and Shekhar and Mahindra played music for him. They just grabbed him and they asked me to send him to uh, Suriname for a period of three to four months. They really like how he sings. And one reason is that they understand what he sings. They understand Hindi. Unfortunately, Guyana and, Suri and Guyana and Trinidad, we don't understand Hindi. So we fully, fully can appreciate what he sings. But you will like him. Uh, he will sing us a bhajan now. Namaste, everybody. Namaste. Tomorrow, I asked him today to speak to you in English. He doesn't know too much, but he's a bit embarrassed because he didn't prepare. Um, he went to see the beach, but that's okay. And, uh, and, but tomorrow, he said he'll speak to you tomorrow. The bhajan is, Tere naam ka sumiran karke, mere man mein sukh bharaya. Happiness fills my heart every time I think of your name, O oh God. तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया तेरी दया को मैंने पाया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया तेरी दया को मैंने पाया तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया जब हुआ कभी बेसहारा दुनिया की ठोकर खाकर जब हुआ कभी बेसहारा ना पाकर अपना कोई तब मैंने तुम्हें पुकारा ना पाकर अपना तब मैंने तुम्हें पुकारा हे नाथ मेरे सिर ऊपर तूने अमृत बरसाया हे नाथ मेरे सिर ऊपर तूने अमृत बरसाया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया तेरी दया को मैंने पाया तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया
पर गिरा हूँ तूने पग पग मुझे उठाया कितनी दीवार गिरा हूँ तूने पग पग मुझे उठाया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया तेरी दया को मैंने पाया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया तेरी दया को मैंने पाया तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया की जब मेरी नैया भव सागर की लहरों में भटकी जब मेरी नैया तट छूना भी मुश्किल था ना देखे कोई के भैया तट छूना भी मुश्किल था ना देखे कोई खे भैया तू लहर बना सागर की मेरी नाव के नारे लाया तू लहर बना सागर की मेरी नाव के नारे अंतिम कभी लाइन लाइन बताओ वहन फिर दोबारा बताइए अंतिम तू बोलना बोलना अंतिम कली बोलिए आई वांट टू ट्रांसलेट वन वर्ड बोलो तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके अंतिम अंतिम कली अंतिम वर्स भवसागर की लहरों में भवसागर की लहरों में व्हेन माय बोट वाज कॉट इन द वेव्स द फेरोशियस वेव्स of this of this ocean like world when the imagine the atlantic is furious in waves sometimes event waves are very furious in this world ocean ha uske baad tat chuna bhi mushkil tha na dikhe koi ke yeah when i could not uh, get hold of the the shore the end part of the ocean that i could come to safety to kya hua to lehar bana sagar ki oh god your mercy came in the form of a small wave that gently pushed my boat to the end of the ocean for me to reach the shore the bank the the coast that i could come to safety so every time i call your name oh god and i realize the multiple ways in which you showed mercy to me master my mind becomes filled with joy antim bar ek bar aur क्या नाम है कोरस का गाने ने एक बार तेरा नाम सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख भर आया मन में 
सुख भर आया तेरी कृपा को मैंने पाया आई फेल्ट योर मर्सी आई फेल्ट योर कंपैशन ओ गॉड तेरे नाम का सुमिरन करके मेरे मन में सुख Acharya, I meet you. Me give him a round of applause. Now I'd like to present Dr. Sudesh Prakash. Thank you, my my daughter. God bless you, everybody. I would have liked to ask Pandita and Rani to say a few words, but perhaps at the end. And anybody else who is of that uh, worth, I, it's nice to hear them say a few words. But let's begin the discussion right now. That. We would like to begin, but before we do, you know, my style is to sing a song in praise of Sanatan Dharma, which is the same as Vedic Dharma, which is the same as Arya Samaj. Can you please put your palms together, everybody? Ah. Uh, it's very important for these children to accompany me wherever I go. Yes, they really know. I wouldn't manage all of that, even though they say the veil is the fount of all true science. But I didn't find this particular science in the veil. God bless them. I love these children. Ah, uh, kaho, sing with me if you can. Kaho ikabar means say one time. Say one time at least. Hey, mitro friends, Sanatan Dharma ki jai ho. Say glory unto Sanatan Dharma, glory unto Vedic Dharma. All of them being the same name, they're synonymous terms. And glory unto Arya Samaj, all of us. Ah, kaho ikbar he mitro Sanatan Dharma ki jai ho. Kaho ikbar he mitro Vedic Dharma ki jai ho. Sanatan Dharma. together all of us and let's ask God for receptivity in our mind receptivity in our intellect receptivity in our brain that we can we can absorb all that is or most of what is given today put your palms om vishwani deva savitar duritani para subal Yad bhadram tanna asuva Yad bhadram tanna asuva Om shanti 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 Deviyo or bhadra jano All the pandits, there's more than one So I'll bring them all together All the pandits, both of them of Sanatan Dharma and Arya Samaj, the president of the Arya Pratinidhi Sabha of Trinidad and Tobago, and all of you wonderful souls who have come here, and those, I don't know if we are, if we are recording today for the all of Trinidad to hear. I think it was recorded yesterday, we are, and all Trinidad and Tobago, all citizens, all Hindus, Muslims, Christians, Every one of you from different ethnic backgrounds, every one of you from different religious backgrounds, today, Arya Samaj and Vedas, we do not recognize you in terms of skin color and texture of hair, which really makes us look visibly different. But today, we recognize all of you for what you essentially are. You are a seat of consciousness. You are what we call an atma. You are what some people call a, a, a soul, which is a seat of feelings. And that is what is important. 
The time has now come for us to move away from segmented humanity and reach out to humanity in its entirety. Our messages must be so tailored to bring pain and grief and affliction and, and, and difficulties to an end. We must be able to so touch the inner core of all human beings that despite the, the enormity of the challenge that faces us, we must still have the ability to smile. And today on the platform of the Arya Samaj, I bring you that kind of message. And before I go into the topic, I would like to talk of sin, but not sin in terms of biblical definitions, but sin in terms of Vedic definitions. And the word for sin is pa, and I'll bring that to your attention. Uh, take off the echo, please. I'll bring, that, bring it to your attention. Would all of you please say papa? Papa. Say it loud and clear for all Trinidad to hear. Say papa, papa. papa. You should, let me say it first and then you repeat. Papa. Papa. And this word Papa, we bow to our Christian brothers, but their definition of sin is what Adam and Eve did in having eaten from the forbidden tree. And it's, it's theologically, in terms of Christianity, that's the original sin, the cardinal sin. And that sin we have all inherited. They say, we have all inherited and we need someone to come save us from sin. Well, that's one definition that Vedic Dharm, Sanatan Dharm, Arya Samaj, Hinduism in general, does not accept. This word Papa is made of Pa and, sorry, is made of Pa and A uh and Pa. When you study a little grammar, and etymology it, relative to Sanskrit, you can go to the very root of words and you can understand what the derived meaning of that word is. And papa is broken up into pa, a, uh, pa. I've spoken about this in the past here in Trinidad, but I need to talk about it again to illustrate the, 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 the some total of what I would like to say about sinful living. Pa means to drink. Pina, to drink. And a means that which should not be. And pa again means to drink. So to drink what should not be drunk is papa, violation. And we don't only drink from here, we drink from here. And from here. And from here. And through the skin, we drink meaning we ingest. We take in. Drink here philosophically means to take into the system. So when we see that which should not be seen, we're committing a violation. When we hear what, we should, not, what should not be heard, we commit papa. When we smell what should not be smelt, and when we breathe in, in, in an incorrect way, we are violating uh, the purpose for which we were sent into this world. And when we touch and pick up and grab what should not be touched, picked up or grabbed, that too is papa. And unfortunately, this, 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 we must focus on the topic. When, when we commit pop, look at me, we, a rope is generated that binds us here in our thinking processes. Another rope is generated that binds us here in our emotions. And another rope, the way talks of a third rope being generated. We didn't make it, it came because we violated cosmic law. God's law. And a third rope is generated that binds us in our actions, interactions, and reactions. When we are bound here, we are bound to hate. When we are bound here, we are bound to jealousy, strife. We are bound here. When we are bound here, we, we think in terms of hurting and harming other people. When we are bound here, jealousy and fear. Fear becomes uh, integral to our personality and we are afraid and when we are afraid we are in doubt and when we are in doubt and we do things we experience shame it's all here and when we are bound here we react in a way to bring somebody down rather than hugging somebody we push somebody away because we are bound here. When we are bound here, we push somebody down rather than giving them the chance to rise because we are bound here. And we say that our life 
is bound by the ropes of pop of sin. And before I go into, I'll repeat one of Hariom Sharan's songs. When we came into this world, God gave me and you a white shawl. It's called chadar. And the white shawl is a clean mind. And God said to Satish, wear this shawl and go into the marketplace of the world. And the marketplace is filled with stalls. And they all advertise uh, different kinds of fruits. But there's one stall way down the line that advertises the fruit of eternal life. Satish, go and very judiciously, I'm going to give you the description of the fruit God says in Vedas, and you go and very judiciously, you pick up that one fruit, not these fruits, that one fruit, eat that fruit, my son, become eternal and come straight back home. And Satish came into the marketplace of the world and without even looking, he went to the first stall and he picked up and he ate and the juices were so staining that the juices fell on his white shawl and he went there and he went there and he ate actions and he ate and he ate and his shawl his once white shawl became stained with all the actions that he could have performed in between all the saints and sages came back, sent by God, and said, Hey, Satish, God is waiting on you. Aren't you going home? And then he remembers for a moment, Oh, yes, I came to eat a certain fruit and to go back home. And he does a few hours of devotion, and he forgets again. And he breaks out. After a period of destruction, he breaks out in the song. Uh, sing with me. Are many child or have When, he, when he, a, a certain thing happened and he broke out in a stroke and he misses his ability to speak, he asks when he realizes, I was required to go back home and to present myself. How can I present myself with a dirty shawl? Mail each other. And this is not a Hindu problem, nor a Christian problem, nor a Muslim problem. This is a human problem. And this, this pravacha, this discourse today that comes to you from the pages of the Vedas, it addresses the human problem, not the Hindu problem, not the Christian problem, not the Muslim problem. And it says, Are nirmalvani paakar tujhse naman tera kaya Oh, you know what? When I was coming and he sent me, he did one more thing. In addition to putting all the white, putting on the white shawl, he put a harmonium. He tied it on my neck. And he gave me a sa sa re ga ma pa tha ni. Watch this. Sa re ga ma pa tha ni. Sa. He gave me seven notes. And he said, Satish, go while you are, so you can stay focused. Sing the songs of love to me. 
But as time went by, he cried his voice. The sir, no, he cried his voice with abrasiveness and profanity. He cursed at everybody. He insulted everybody. And this note became dysfunctional. And he, does, he can't even sing anymore. It is hoarse. He, instead of using re to breathe deeply, gently, and slowly, this is, as I said yesterday, this is how he breathed. That's how he breathed. He was supposed to have breathed gently, deeply, slowly, to ensure the incoming of oxygen, to oxygenate his body, inner body limbs. But he didn't do that. And so he misused all this, the notes. Can you put your palms together? Deepak, sir? Uh, sing with me. Sir, God. Ma pa dha ni sa Come down deep up Sa ni dha pa ma ga re sa Oh my God, I pulled out this uh, note from the harmonium, this body harmonium. I pulled out the gamma, but I, I misuse my mind. I use, misuse my ears. I listen to gossip all the time. I use this voice to be abrasive and insulting and condescending. I misuse my skin, my ability for touch and picking up. And everything becomes destroyed. And finally, a stroke hit me. I, I, look at this last one. In the Peron say, I'll sing it quick because these songs take a lot of energy. In the Peron say, Chalakar Tere Mandir Kabhina Aya Jaha Jaha Ho Puja Tere Bolo Swaha, say Swaha. Oh, Magna Swaha. I heard, I passed the Chase Village Mandir. I passed the Sanatan Dara Mandir. And I heard them say Swaha. And I couldn't care two hoots to stay outside and say swaha with them. Are in the peron se chal kar tere mandir kabhi na aaya jaha jaha ho puja teri kabhi na shees jhukaya. this utter state of destruction, this harmonium is dead and is not productive of any sound of harmony. Hey Prabhu Arme Harkeya Oh God, I'm now defeat, defeated. Ab kya har? What gift can I now give you in this broken state? Oh God. A life messed up in the tragedy of wrong choices. But you know what? You and I are not destined to burn in the fire of eternal damnation. Uh-uh. Veda always gives you a way out. You can stop stealing if you want to end tragedy. You can stop injuring people's feelings and even their physical bodies. You and I can stop drinking what is injurious to health. We can stop eating what is injurious to health. We can stop gambling all of our earnings. We can stop eating unwholesome foods and drinks. And we can break out in the words of the Rishi of the Ved. Put your palms, everybody. Look at the red. Ah, uh, Nirmaya. Say that. Nirmaya Utye Utye Asura Asura Abhuvan Abhuvan Asura means all these demonic tendencies that we call pop and wrongdoing. You know what? Now that I've stopped doing A, B, C that I used to do, oh my God, pop and sin has lost magical control over me. Twam Chama Twam Chama Varuna Varuna Kamaya Se Kamaya Se And you know what? After having given up all these, these acts of wrongdoing, 
I now sit every night before I sleep and I chant and me manaha shiva sankalpa mastu. I chant, oh God, may my mind be filled with beautiful and benevolent thoughts. Oh God, oh God. If you really love me, and I think you do, because you are my mom, you are my dad, you are my guru, you are my friend, you are everything for me, oh God. My mommy died and left me. My daddy died and left me. My guruji who used to teach me. Sanskrit and Vedas has passed on, but you are there. And if you truly love me, oh God, help me do one thing more. Help me draw a line that separates truth from untruth. Help me separate what is right from what is wrong. Help me separate what is doable away from what is not doable. Oh God. And in such an effort to help me, oh God, Come sit on the royal throne here in my heart. Every time I try to walk, every time I try to walk the pathways, I step on broken bottoms of lust and anger and greed and I bleed and I don't know where to place my foot. I have no sense of the difference between what is right and what is wrong, what is punya, what is pap, what is doable, what is not doable. Come God, come now. They say, you are my daddy and my mommy and my guru and my teacher and my friend and my brother and my sister. Come now God, Mama Rashtrasya. Look at the last, look at this red line. Mama Rashtrasya, Mama Rashtrasya, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya Mehi, Adhipatya means rulership. To be the ruler, Mama Rashtrasya, of my body kingdom. I have. Let me, I was the king. I will step down from the throne and put you, God, on the throne for you to be the king. I'll be your prime minister. And all these senses will be the minister of this body kingdom. Help me, God. Help me. Help me, master. I want to loosen up this rope and this rope and this rope. Um, Can anybody explain to me while I'm calling upon God? I'm asking Acharya Amit. Can you explain to me how is it that we end up experiencing pain and agony and affliction and difficulty and challenges? Yaim Chakara Yaim Chakara Naso Asya Veda Naso Asya Veda Rig Veda 1164 Once I heard Pandita Indrani explain uh, the Sukta of the Rig Veda beautiful sukta. Sukta means a set of mantras. Yaim chakara Yaim chakara Naso asya veda Naso asya veda Yaim dadarsha Naim dadarsha Hirugin utasma Hirugin utasma Samaturyona Samaturyona Parivito antar Parivito antar Bahu praja Bahu praja Nirriti mavi Vivesha Nirritima Vivesha ah. We do many things Yaim Chakara But what we do The many things that impact us We are not even aware of those actions I Part the use of this term I peremptorily dismiss Amit You are rather stupid Amit I say in my mind, perhaps I may not verbalize to be politically correct, but I say, you are, you are basically a stupid man, Amit, and I walk away in arrogance, and I don't realize how it impacts on my inside. Yaim, the Vedas say, lamenting, Yaim Chakara, 
the many things we do, especially the wrong things that we do that impact our inner psychological apparatus, our mind, our intellect, our ego, our ego. We are not so as severe. We हम जानते नहीं जो कुछ हम करते हैं हम जानते नहीं हमारे अंदर चेतना पैदा नहीं होती. The consciousness to recognize the inherent wrong in these actions is not even there. Yeah, in the darshan, and we see many things that create inclinations in us to want to possess those things, and we become disconnected from them in terms of awareness. Ya im da darsha, ya im da darsha, ya im da darsha, hirugin no tasmat, tasmat. Ya im da darsha, hirugin no tasmat. Ya im da darsha, ya im da darsha, hirugin no tasmat, hirugin no tasmat. I'm so afraid I say. God says in Vedas, and because of that, with a pile up of all these negative inclinational tendencies created by principally what we see and what we do, we can never loosen this rope, nor this rope, nor this rope, and being bound to the world. We are born again in the world. Samaturiyo na parivito antar. And the Ved says, Bahu Praja, born again and again, again and again. Nirritim, which means pain and agony. Avivesha, we experience severe agony. Imagine a child failing form one. And having to repeat form one, it's the same subjects, the same instructions. He goes through again, and then he fails again, and he has to repeat form one, and then he fails again, and he has to repeat form one. Form one, he would stamp his feet in disgust, and he would say, "I, I'm fed up having to do this again. You and I are no different." The same people, the same clothing, the same words, the same actions, the same dal and rice, the same TV, the same house, the same gate, the same car, again and again, again and again, being born as human, again and again, and after a while, failing to reach up to a certain level where you can be free from this body, failing that, God, the headmaster says, go down in the lower class. You are unworthy of passing Form One. You, Satish, are unworthy of having a human body because you are not using it uh, in the way you should be using. Go and be born in the lower animal kingdom. Bahu Praja, Bahu Praja, Nirritim, Nirritim, Avivesha, Avivesha, Bahu Praja, Bahu Praja, Bahu Praja, Bahu Praja, Nirritim, Avivesha, Nirritim, Avivesha, Nirritim, Avivesha, Nirritim, Avivesha. And when we repeat these actions, simply put, you eat one spoon of ice cream, you like it. Inclinational tendency born. Eat a second spoon, you like it. A, a, a more intense inclination is born. The sanskar is now powerful. You eat a third spoon and you eat a fourth spoon. Repeated actions, especially when they are wrong, they create low tendencies and make us people of low nature and swabhav. Te bhya, te bhya saat. Te bhya saat. Karmanam te sham. Karmanam te sham. This one is Manusmati. Te bhya saat. Te bhya saat. Karmanam te sham. Karmanam te sham. Papanam. Papanam. Alpa buddhaya. Alpa buddhaya. Samprapnu vanti. Samprapnu vanti. Dukhani. Dukhani. When we when we repeat actions that are not productive and that are not elevating, we become people of low tendencies. 
and low nature and we experience pain and grief and agony as a result and that being so we are born we can't be born anymore as human beings because we are not using human capabilities we are not using the booty we are not using a mind we are not using the ego we are not using the sense organs backed by wisdom and we qualify for a lower birth where we just where we just experience experience we so no new karma Sampraapnuvanti dukkhani Sampraapnuvanti dukkhani Tasu tas Tasu tasu ihayo nishu Tasu tasu ihayo nishu But here listen to me Am I destined to live that way all my births? Uh-uh There's always a way out Are mata Satyat Prakash Are mata pita guru atiti seva Mata pita Mata pita I'm looking now for a different kind of life. I'm now looking for a different kind of higher power. But I can't see him. He's not, he's not appearable to the eyes, not visible to the eyes, nor to the ears. But I see mom. I haven't seen him. He's not, he's not visible to these eyes. But what What need is there to see him, Aima? Every morning I get up from my bed, out of my room, I see your face. And I don't think mommy God's face would in any way be different from your face. But Usiki Zarurat, hold the music, sing with me. But Usiki Zarurat, kya hogi? Eh, eh, maatri surat se alag, Bhagwan ki surat, kya hogi? Ah, 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 kya hogi? Usko nahi dekha, hamne ta, ah, ah, ah. Ah, ki ye jo dunia hai Ye ban hai kaaton ka Tu bhulwari hai Oh, ma In a way that reminds me of God as the universal mother. To Kitani Achi, you were so good to us. You are still good to us. To Kitani Bholi, you're so innocent with us, mother. Pyari, pyari, you're so loving to us, ma. Apna nahi. Hold a minute, hold a minute, hold a minute. Hold a minute. Apna nahi tujhe. Sukh dukh koi. Mom, you have had no pain of your own, nor any joy of your own. Apna nahi. You sing with me. Hold the music low, low, play but low. Apna nahi tujhe. Sukh dukh koi. Main muskaya tu muskai. Main roya tu roya. If I would cry, mom, if one day they beat me up on the street while on my way from school and I come home crying, mom, you would not even ask me why I'm crying. You would hold on to me and you would cry to mother. And if my report card the other day, my report card is good and I run, come, mom, 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 and I'm laughing and I'm laughing, mom, you would not even ask me why I'm laughing. You would grab me and you would laugh, mom. 
अपना नहीं तुझे सुख दुख कोई अपना नहीं तुझे सुख दुख कोई मैं मुस्काया तू मुस्काई मैं रोया तू रोई मेरे हंसने पे मेरे रोने पे तू बलिहारी है ओ Rishi Dayanand tells me and you, you want to start living a new life? Start worshipping, meaning bowing to and acknowledging and following her, her advice. Start bowing to mom and to dad and to acharya, guru and to guest. Matri Devo, put your hands everybody. Oh Matri Devo Bhava Swaha. ओ मातृ देवो भव स्वाहा ओ पितृ देवो भव स्वाहा ओम पितृ देवो भव स्वाहा ओम आचार्य देवो भव स्वाहा ओम आचार्य देवो भव स्वाहा ओम अतिथि देवो भव स्वाहा ओम अतिथि देवो भव स्वाहा अरे माता पिता गुरु अतिथि You say, Are Mata Pita said, The Pita Guru Aditi Seva. Next one, In the Kopujan Beautiful. Are Jin Se Jag Me Ho Upka. And, and you know what? You'll be motivated to do only those actions. Jagame Hopakara. That will bring benefit to mankind at large. You have extra money and the child over there doesn't have parents who have money to pay fees. Go over and say, here's a 10,000. Bhai and Bahin. I see your child has stopped going to school. And they would leak tears and say, yes, we can afford the fees anymore. I said, here, take it. And they may be hesitant to take it. But you encourage them. And the house over there has a broken marital relationship. Go over there. Pati separ, sati usapar, kaise par kare majhdhar. This is the world canal. And the boat has to be moved and when husband is in one bank and the, the wife is in the other bank. Who will row the boat? Who will take the two bamboos, push it deep down into the bed of the canal and push the boat forward when husband is on that side and wife is on this side. I want you to sing this, so hear it. You sing it now. Take the words of Rishi Dhanan. When you turn the ignition on your car, you might not remember the entire line, but uh, entire line. But turn and face your dharampatni or your child or your mom who is here accompanying you to this jag. And tell her, Are jinse jag me ho upkar. Say to form, Are jinse jag me ho. Very beautiful. Wahi karma ki jesu vichara. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, I'm now, I'm now, look at me, I'm transitioning from pap to punya. I'm transitioning from wrongdoing.
to right doing. You know what? I don't have it here. I didn't plan to put it in, but it just, the thought just came to you. When you wake up in the morning and you run to the bathroom, the shower, and you shower and you come out and you're all awake now and you watch the mirror. Mukhara de Kale Prani Zara Zara Pandame De Kale Kitana Punya Hakitana Pap de Jesus. Let me get a scale. Play deeper. Play. Kitana, Punya Hakitana, Pap de Jeevan, De Cleda de Penem, Mukara de Ah, oh my God, when you watch, uh, 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 uh. when you watch in the mirror and you see, mm, there's a, a white hair here. Let me take the scissor and take it out. There's one in my mustache. And I don't think my hair is well groomed. Let me put some more gel and let me do myself. The rouge is missing a little bit here. And my lipstick is not well applied. You watch yourself. You know what? That's good. Nothing wrong with that. But sit also and watch in the mirror of, of introspection. And ask yourself, they click it and watch. They click watch. They click it and a it and how much good have you? Accumulated here. They click it in a punya hek it in a pop. How much sin and how much good have you accumulated? Sing with me. They click it in a hold the drum. They click it in a punya hek it in a pop. They click the lip. Mukhara de We're doing a turn now, psychologically in the lecture. I've transitioned. If I have to transition from here to here, I've reached here. One thing more I need to do. And you see the question being asked. They talk of a higher power. Religions quarrel about which is the name of God? Is he this? Is he this? Is he this? Is he this? And unfortunately, we miss the main point of the existence of the higher power, and we battle over the name. And in battling over the name, we lose the whole idea behind God. So Vedas gives you a name too, but I wouldn't propound the battle over the name. But I'll tell you why that name is a superior name. But right now, Connect, connect with the higher power. This is the procedure. This is the whole process. I now feel and see. I see and I feel the joy and pain of all living beings. And I can internalize that, that, that joy and pain. And when I feel joy, I smile with them. And when I feel pain, the pain of others, I I become concerned, if not, uh, somebody can say I cry with them, but crying wouldn't solve. I become concerned with their pain, and I'm trying to help them find a solution to their challenges. Sarvamatmani Sampashit Sarvamatmani Sampashit Manusmriti Satcha Satcha Samahitaha Satcha Satcha Samahitaha I also, because I've developed powers of perception and I now see I've been able to draw the line between right and wrong and I can now internalize what is right and I can internalize what is wrong Satcha Satcha Samahitaha Satcha Satcha Samahitaha Sarvamatmani Sampashyam Sarvamatmani Sampashyam Nadharme Kurute Manaha Nadharme Kurute Manaha And because I can now internalize I can visualize I've drawn the line separating the two right from wrong 
my mind na dharme na dharme na dharme kurute manah na One final step. I get involved in austerity and knowledge. I read Satyat Prakash. I read Upanishads. I read all the books on Dharma. And I, I put together information that is definitional in nature. I learn one thing more. I learn to give up the pleasurable for the good. A soft bed is pleasurable, but it's not good for your back. So I've given up among the things I have given up. Soft bed for a hard floor. I've given up certain kinds of food for beneficial foods. I've given up white flour, white this, white that for wholesome foods. Yes, white rice does taste nice. It's not good for me. I've given up the pleasurable for the beneficial, which amounts to austerity. Tapo vidya cha viprasya Tapo vidya cha viprasya Nihishreya sa karma Nihishreya sa karam param Nihishreya sa karam param And this austerity and knowledge They bring me, they give me the ability to smile Deep down in the inside And the smile on the inside Becomes reflected in the smile in my face I can't smile on the outside If I don't smile on the inside Tapo vidya cha viprasya Tapo vidya cha viprasya Nihishreya sa karam param Nihishreya sa karam param And one thing more, this austerity I'm practicing, it destroys all guilt in me. There's no more guilt left. The guilt of having done wrong thing. No! Austerity takes it all away. Tapasakil bisham hanti Tapasakil bisham hanti Tapasakil Tapasakil bisham hanti Kil bisham hanti And one thing more, that's the austerity, it kills the guilt. And the knowledge? The knowledge takes me away from the ever-revolving wheel of birth and death. I am not scheduled to be born again. I will graduate from form one into form two. Vidyaya, Vidyaya, Amritama Shnute, Amritama Shnute, Vidyaya, Vidyaya. We are ready to walk through the door now to real spiritual living. We have transitioned a far way from wrong, from wrong living, wrong choices, wrong uh, uh, expressions. We're looking for a name. We're looking for a name. 
that we can call, that belongs to a higher power. People don't like to use the word God in the United States especially. And I think there's some value, must be some value to it. So I am following that too. They're looking for a name to the higher power and they go to the Athar of Aved, and they see a mantra, Nama Nam Na Jo Haviti, Nama Nam Na Jo Haviti, Pura Suryat Purusha Saha, Pura Suryat Purusha Saha. And they begin to call a name. It has three letters, A, U, and M. A and U would combine grammatically to form O, but for now, A, U, and M, and they call that name very early in the morning. Why early? When there are no more man-made noises at that time. Car, the hooting of cars. Yes, chirping of birds is natural, but the hooting of cars, the, the abrasiveness in hollering and shouting and being profane in our choice of words. No, none of that. All those people are sleeping early in the morning. When we call a certain name, which I will mention in a moment. And not only that, Nama Namna, we call that name with a deep sense of surrender and devotion. Then you know what? We achieve a freedom par excellence, a freedom like which there is nothing else in this big wide world. A freedom unmixed with the agony that goes with enslavement. Ah, Nama Nam Na Jo Haviti Nama Nam Na Jo Haviti Pura Suryat Puro Shasaha Pura Suryat Puro Shasaha Sahitat Swarajyamiyaya Sahitat Swarajyamiyaya Swarajyam Swarajyam Freedom Priyam Swarajyam Swarajyam Iyaya Iyaya He achieves He we achieve He achieves He achieves A freedom A freedom ah. And this name that Ved talks about is the name Om. The O is breakdownable into A and U when they coalesce. When A and U coalesce they form O. When they break them down, when they break down the O, it goes back to A and U. And A refers to a number of things, one of which is the creative powers of God. U refers to the preservative qualities of God. And M refers to the terminative qualities of God, among other things. So I too, in connecting with God, I must be creative in my life. I must be preservative, especially values, ethics, morals, traditions that help humanity to rise. I must help preserve those ethics, morals, values, and, and traditions. And terminative, anything that is destructive to human nature. I must seek to terminate that first in me and help other people to do the same. And God's name, as I explained, I think yesterday, God's name is Om, and that Om comes from a verbal root, A-V, Av. And Av has 19 meanings. I'll give you three. God hugs. God listens. And God throws light on various options to help me and you find a solution to our challenges. Put your palms together, everybody. Say, God hugs. God hugs. God listens. God listens. God sheds light. God sheds light. And help us and helps us find solutions. And helps us. Ah, om om bole, rom rom bole, yehi pyare prabhu ka bada naam hai. Om om bole, rom rom bole, yehi pyare prabhu ka bada naam. 
Am I on scale, Deepak? Am I on scale? Give me the scale. Om Om Bole Rom Rom Bole Yehi Pyaare Prabhu Ka Bada Naam You sing it. Uh, I'm coming to the end now. Uh, my time is up. Om Om Bole Rom Rom Bole Yehi Pyaare Prabhu Ka Bada Naam Put your mic down. Let me hear you. Om Om Very nice. Rom Rom Yehi. Beautiful, go. Om, Om, Bole, Om, Om, Bole, Yehi, Pyaare, Prabhu Ka Bada Naam Hai. You read the blue, I will explain it. You read fast. Set your mind like good university scholar. And while we sing, read the blue. I'll help you with this one. Chant, oh mankind. Yes, let every part of your body chant this divine name. Om. Let's go. One more time. Uh, om, Om, Bole, Om, Bole, Yehi Pyaare, Prabhu Bada Naam Hai. Vedane Iski Mahima Ko Gaya. इसको कण कण में व्यापक बताया इसको कण कण में व्यापक बताया मन हमार बोले बार बार बोले यही प्यारे प्रभु का बड़ा नाम है यही प्यारे प्रभु का बड़ा नाम है कृष्ण भगवान गीता में बोले कृष्ण भगवान गीता में बोले हा हा ओ मा अक्षर के सब भेद खोले ओ मा अक्षर के सब भेद बोले दासुरदार बोले बेशुमार बोले यही प्यारे I believe it's in the ninth chapter. I'm not sure right now. But Sri Krishna does say, anybody who are in the dying process, if the name Om comes out with their last breathings, that's a sign that that person has achieved the higher regions. Ah, yoga darshan bhi darshara hai. Yoga darshan bhi darshara hai. Om ka arth samjha raha hai Om ka arth samjha raha hai Un apar bole, baar baar bole Yehi pyaare prabhu ka bada naam hai Un apar bole, baar baar bole Yehi pyaare prabhu ka bada naam hai now go to other religions. Guru Nanak. Guru Nanak was the founder of the Sikh religion. Guru Nanak ji dharti pe aaye. Guru Nanak ji dharti pe aaye. Aaye ma om ka. Ek om kaar ke shabd gaaye. Ek om kaar ke shabd gaaye. लगातार बोले बार बार बोले यही प्यारे प्रभु का बड़ा नाम है बार बोले बार बार बोले यही प्यारे प्रभु का बड़ा नाम है बोलो ऋषि वर दयानंद प्यारे बोले ऋषि वर दयानंद ओम में है प्रभु के नाम सारे ओम में है प्रभु के नाम सारे समझदार बोले कर विचार बोले यही प्यारे प्रभु का बड़ा नाम है आ आ आ आ आ मैं आपसे तो रीड दिस इफ यू कैन 
Read the blue for me. Put your palms together. Rishi Dayanand is talking to you. Say after me, Rishi Dayanand. Rishi Dayanand. Also. Also. Said in the first chapter of the Satyarth Prakash that all secondary names of God can be found in the Sound Om, which is God's primary. Read the last line. Wise. Pronounce that word one more time. Wise people. After due thought should follow the rishi and also chant one last line hold on a minute. can you sing the last verse let me see if you can two four the rishi rishi munio beautiful ha ha is Read the last blue for me, everybody, Rishis and Munis. What are some of those activities? Uh -huh, and the last words. Let me hear that you and I. Let me hear that you and I. Uh huh. And sages, and do the same. Let the strings of our music instrument accompany us in chanting. Oh, put your palms together. Oh, say, Oh, all of us. Close your eyes, all of us. Oh. One more time. The way a child calls for a mom, a child cries, ah. You and I can cry, ah, in the form of home and call on the universal mother. Come, mom of the universe. I am in agony. I have committed wrongdoing. I've engaged in pop and I seek to transition. But I'm still stumbling. Come hold my hand, O oh mom of the universe. Call God's name one more time, Om. Oh. Oh. I'm coming. I see I have a few minutes. I have three minutes. With devotion, pray to Om God Almighty. With devotion, pray to Om God Almighty. Why? He alone can take away all adversity. Say that. He alone can take away all adversity. Devotion, pray to O God Almighty. With devotion, pray to O God Almighty. Hold the music. Uh, uh. Now you say, listen to me one more time, and go home and sing this. Listen. With devotion, pray to O God Almighty. Can you say that? With. Why? He alone can take away all adversity. Say that. He alone can take away all that. Uh, we were impressed with your, with your song that you sang and you used to sing. And still, I don't know if you still do. Sing of Rishi, sing of Rishi, sing of Rishi. We were very, and we sing that in, in New York City. And then I found somebody made this in Guyana, and I took it and edited a little bit, but I like it. Why? He alone, I love that line. He alone can take away all that for city. Say that. Ah, he alone can take away. 
Watch this. Sano Bandur Janita Samitata Sano Bandur Janita Samitata Listen. He is our brother, father and giver. He is our brother, father. What is the name? Kasmai Devaya Havishavidema. To him we go in tranquility. Ha ha. To him we go in tranquility. With devotion, pray. Clasp your palms, everybody. Take this home with you. With devotion, pray to Omkarama. It is my custom to end the discourse with Jai Jagadish, but I'd be grateful if the officials of the Vedic Mission of Trinidad and Tobago can extend to our sister and Pracharika, Pandita Indrani, the opportunity to say a few words. Can we all stand, please? Om Jai. Stand all of us. Ah, Deepak, come a little, come down a little bit. Today, like yesterday, I'd be very grateful. You don't have to do it, but I'd be grateful if you do it. From Jodhyave Palapave, go find somebody here whom you can either hug if it's your own age group or whose feet you can touch in submission. See God in that person. You and I can see God with these eyes, but we can see mommy, we can see daddy, we can see cha cha ji, kaka ji as you all say, we can see kaki, cha ji, mommy, pua, bhaiya, bhauji, guruji, panditji, we can see them and we can go touch their feet and say, and touch their feet and say, I see God in you. May I transition from this place to this place. Put your palms together, everybody. Palo, pe pa, karo, pare pa. Om de jagdi shahari. Ah, din avan to dukh hare ta. Tum rakshak mere ho, swami, tum rakshak mere. Karuna hast badha. Karuna hast badha. Kaar padha te re. Om jay jagdish hare. Vishay vikar mitao. Paap haro deva ho swami. Paap haro deva. While we are settling down, I'll give you an extra minute. Take your time. I love to see this. This is a beautiful end to tonight's presentation. If I'm looking around, if you're not done, I'll give you an extra minute. And then I'll ask Pandit Radhe to come chant the final prayers that they normally chant in this Monday. I'll, I'll ask Pandit Radhe, please come. Take an extra 10 seconds, 15 seconds. Ah. And as we come to the end of tonight's uh, satsang, we clasp our hands, bow our heads, final prayer. Om Asato Ma Sadagamaya Tamaso Ma Jyotir Gamaya Mrityur Ma Amritam Gamaya Om Dhyav Antarikshagam Prithvish Rapah Roshadayah Vanaspatayah Vishwedivah Brahma Sarvagum 
शांति देव शांति सामा शांति रे ओम शांति 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 प्रेम से बोलो सच्चे सनातन फिर धर्म की but it ain't Rani will say a few words okay okay before she does before please be seated before Pandit and Rani comes on I wouldn't show you again I showed you yesterday I am happy to let you know and I'm grateful to let you know that the Guru Kul we showed you tomorrow I'll show it to you tomorrow we disconnected the system I'll show you the artist rendering of the Guru Kul that we currently building in Guyana and one part of the Gurukul will be declared open this November, the Ved Mandir Auditorium. Uh, we are bringing that to a conclusion. That part, the bigger part, which I'll show you tomorrow because we disconnected, will be built and be, will be finished in two years. And the entire Gurukul complex will be declared open in 2020, I believe, November. Um, I will ch introduce my two children. It is with... Uh, Deepa, can you stand one more time and shake her and, and, and Mahindra stand one more time? These are my children. They have come with me. Let me tell you, this is the eighth week. We are teaching and preaching and lecturing and traveling. And trust me, today Pandit Hansraj was taking me home from the workshop we had here today. And he was talking to me, but I was only hearing him 5%. I kept going like this. I used, we used to say Lango Jhupe. Did you all say that word? We go Jhupe like this all the time. I didn't hear him. And to get me to hear something, he took, grabbed hold of my hand and he grabbed it. And when he grabbed my hand, then I heard, I said, Pandiji, do forgive me. We are all very, very fatigued, but we enjoy doing this. We are happy to be in, our, in your midst. It is with honor I ask my fellow Pracharika, Pandita Indrani, a scholar in her own right, to say a few words, Pandita, thank you so much for coming. Namaste to all. By Satish, namaste to your... My babies. Yeah, well, <laughs> the seedlings that you are yeah. planting here. Um, I won't stand in, in the way of you and dinner and also getting home early. But let me say how blessed we are, how special we are to have experienced what we have experienced this evening. Our culture is not about reading a text. We don't pick up a book to read. That's not the culture. You can't read Ved. You have to experience it. And this is what my Satish took us you know, through different scriptures. And I always call him the Rishi of the Western world, meaning he, he is one who has studied, he's a scholar who has studied the language in depth, and he's able to interpret that to suit our circumstances. And, and he and I always fight over the internet about the word sin and dharma and pap and so on. We have lots of discussions over this, because when you use Christian terms in a Christian context, you begin to think like a Christian. Nothing wrong with using the terms if you understand where you are and you know what it means as he so well explained the concept of pop today and then we'll have dharma and so on. And once you understand that there's nothing to shake you, but, but let me say what a wonderful experience, my Satish, this was of experience in Ved. Ved, I always say, is not books. It's not books, it's revelations. That knowledge that came. And how was that knowledge passed on? Through people like this. Through these people. We were talking. You know, Arya Samaj has lost it. Atiti Deva Bhava. We have lost it. Sometimes I'm looking for a missionary to bring from abroad. And I can't get someone to host that person for a week. Long ago it used to be such a wonderful thing. And we go to Guyana, um, Suriname, Trinidad, and we host each other. Now money has come so much in between. Well, I mean, if they pay for the hotel and so on, it will be okay. But they ain't even giving you the money for that. But we have lost. And if we cannot support 
young man like this, where is your dharma going? Think about it. It's not in a book. It's not in a book. It's in these people who live it and who carry the message and spread it the way they do. And that's why we have to support them. And how do you look at your gurus and your teachers? You know, all the problems with the violence today you have all over is how they treat the teacher. Look at our New York, where we lived and worked, how they treat the teacher. When we, long ago, how we used to treat our gurus and, and the pundits and so. We have lost that. We need to respect them and understand what they are carriers of this Ved tradition. And when you respect that, give them that um, material um, means by which to do their work, it will be spread. Thank you so much. Namaste to all. Thank you, Pandita Indrani. I, I'm coming, I'm coming. You talk of um, Atiti. Let me just, as you, you touch something, you know the whole of Trinidad, if we go to the APS, as we did last year, we are well treated there too. We come to Vedic Mission, we are very well treated here today. We had a, a first session of a workshop. These people, they're begging me to stay here in this man. They don't go home, bring my clothes and stay here. These people are lovely, y'all are, not only one, not only Vedic Mission, not only APS. The Arya Samajis in this country have shown me and my children a face that we can't forget, but especially we go to two main homes. We go to other people's places too. But we go to two main homes, and we're currently in one of the two homes, the, the Hans Raj family. And God, my boys eat. When they put down and eat, but you know what? Didi's karahi, and she cook a pot, always has enough. They love Trinidad juice. You should see these boys. My mouth is watering here. You should see how they pour from a big bottle of that sweetened uh, Trinidad juice. And as for this Amit, you see how he's laughing? He said, Guruji, Baraswa, this tastes very tasty. And he eats and he drinks and he eats. And we thank the Hansraj family. And we're going to go to another family, the Radhe family. We'll go there someday. Every year they invite us. And we are very grateful. But one thing more I wanted to say before we come. Um, um, Beta, one more time, stand for me, shake her and Deepu. I want somebody to bring a tabla here tomorrow. Stand up, child. Watch me. Come, son, stand up. I would like Deepu to do in Trinidad what he did in Guyana. He will play a rag on the harmonium. And this one will play the tabla to suit that rag. Let me tell you something. I'm not saying Deepak and Sheikh are the best players in the world, but they have tremendously advanced. They went to advanced, accomplished teachers, and in nine months, I am stunned to see where they are. These two will be teaching the music component of the sum total Gurukul curriculum. Pandita, we are offering second chance in CXC for those who got grief. This year, out of three-thirds um, students who wrote, one-third alone passed in Guyana. Two-thirds failed. When you fail at Alma Trinidad, when you fail in Guyana, you can't get to go to UG, the University of Guyana, and you can't qualify for a job. You're paving the way for thieves to be born and roam the streets. America is a great nation. She taught the Pandita. They give you a second and a third chance to rewrite that exam. Let me take something quick. When I went, came from India and I went to my high school to start teach, I saw these pregnant girls. I went to the principal and I said, Dr. Lars, what you have, you know my Gurukul prejudice, what you got these pregnant girls uh, in the school for? She, she looked at me and she smiled. Okay, priest, Dr. Satish. I'm going to ban them from the school because they come in with babies and strollers. I said, what do you have these people doing here? He said, I will listen to you because you are the holy one here. And she's actually sarcastic. I'll put them out of the school. But you know what? Tomorrow they'll start selling drugs. They got to eat. Rather than doing that, let them come in here and get a chance to pass their high school and go apply for a 
cashier job or some other job that they could eat very decently. Everybody wants, and they could pay rent. Hindus, let me use a big term now. Hindus must start giving back. We must not only take dakshna all the time. We must give. We Arya Samajis and Sanatanis must give. They close it. They, what they did in here, this country closed down the sugar estate. I pass it every day. They're closing them there to break the backs of, and I'm an, you know, I don't want to participate in your politics. Break the backs of the Indians. They will need to eat. We're trying to solve the problem. We're going to open up breakfast centers, starting with the Guru Kul. We can't afford fancy foods. We'll take the truck that is going to be given to us, and we'll go to the place that, that, that plants plantain, cassava, edo, dashin, days, black eye, what that, and bring, and our kitchen staff will boil and fry provision and make a big karahi of hot tea and say, come by, G. Come eat. You want to feed God? Feed humanity. So our Deepu and our Shekhar, we call him Shaky out of love. Tomorrow I want Hayden or somebody to bring their tabla. And I would like these two children to give you three, four minutes insight into the music they'll be teach teaching. And the money we're collecting for all the days, we don't only want your money. We want some of your students to come to Guyana. They'll come there. They will learn. Look at, look at the missionaries program. Hindi, Sanskrit, yoga, music, and Ved. And teach them good English, how to deliver a good lecture. And if we can get the donation from New York or other places, we'll even give them a stipend. Go preach. Hello inside. You know the Jehovah Witnesses? They're taking your people away with the same hello inside. I was right there in Guyana. Hello. Uh, look at the words. Aji. Yes, better. Aji, come let me read something from the Bible for you now. I'll better read them, but I read them. And it only takes time for them to cross over. Hindus need to do that and better than that. Hello inside. Yes, they are dressed a certain way. We are from the Gurukul. And we've brought a page of prasad for you to take. Take this page and read. And where's the Gurukul? Oh, it's at Iflot. Join us. And we, the Arya Samaj started something called the reconversion movement. Should he? Reconversion. And all those who left Hinduism. We need to talk. Today we had a discussion. We need to talk the Hindu language. We can't scorn the word again. And we need to bring them back. When Sanatanists, and you know what I mean by Sanat, even though the word Sanatan is Vedic. But when the Sanatists come here, they must hear something that touches the core of their being. And would make them want to come to the Arya Samaj. Let's not scorn, despise, criticize, or push away. Let us open our palms and welcome and bring them. They are the people nearest to you. And they are the ones who might very well be willing. I go to more Ari, uh, Sanatan Mandirs in Guyana more than Arya Samaj Mandirs. And I tell them, come over here. And the place is packed. They want to hear. What do you have to say? They want to hear. Give the Gurukul a chance to be functional. My children, watch them here. Watch them. Watch them. Watch them. Sometimes when they sleep late, they wake late. I get up and I go watch them. And I ask, would these missionaries succeed or are we talking too big? Sometimes I ask myself, Satish, do you really talk too big? Can you achieve all that you say you will? Oh God, let us achieve. So Pandit Radhe and Pandit, all the Pandits here, APS and Vedic Mission, give us a student, one student. Along with your money, give us a student. Because when the building is built, we just can't stare at it from the road and say it looks nice. We have to start teaching. With that being said, namaste. Ah, oh, yes. Come now, today I gave, yesterday I gave. You know what we men did? 
we told the ladies, you go cover your head. We'll come the way we want to come, which is not right. Ka sakti kaha. Let your heads be covered. And I see the covering of the head is catching on as a culture. And so, bhai, I present this to you, my brother. This is now, watch me. Rishi Dhyanan talks of clothes underneath and clothes on top. Adho vastra, upari vastra. This is an essential ingredient of the sum total uniform. I'm sorry. Um, I wish Vedic Mission can ask me a source in India where this can be brought from India. This is cheaply produced when you send it by air mail, then the cost goes up. And the way, pardon my saying this, the way the Indians make it, perhaps we in Guyana, I don't know about Trinidad, we in Guyana may not be able to make it. It calls for a skill. And they finish one of this in 15 minutes. This is all stitched. And I'm, I don't hate Muslim, but a Muslim hat is this way. A Hindu hat is this way. Shouldn't be worn this way. Should be worn this way. Please make this an interview. You come to Guyana to my Aspanita Indrani, my children who come to the Gurukul in New York. They have, you don't, if you're not dressed, you can't come sit on my stage. You can't come bareheaded. Be, being bareheaded is not Vedic, is not Hindu. And put it this way, it's sexual. But I'll explain that another time. It's unfortunate the hijab issue that you all had. And yes, the hijab is Muslim. But if you look beyond the Muslim, there's a lot of virtue covering your head. You become less sexually attractive. Namaste. Thank you, Dr. Satish Prakash and Mahindra, Chanda Shekhar, Deepak, and Pandit Amit. Of course, I would be doing myself a great injustice as well as you all a great in injustice if I did not recognize firstly the partnership between the Vedic mission of Trinidad and Tobago and the members of the Avocat Mandir, which made this seven night program possible. Secondly, the members of this Mandir, I'd like to recognize them as they have worked tirelessly to ensure that you all have a very pleasant and comfortable evening. Thank you, the audience, for coming and showing your support to Dr. Satish. Thank you again for your attention, and namaste. Sangya Television is not only the first in the TV station in Trinidad and Tobago, but Sangya TV also has the most coverage. You can find Sangya Television on YouTube by searching for